Hey everybody, on today's episode of Martial Arts Radio, Andrew and I are going to talk about Whistle Kick's world latest, there we go, words are difficult, Whistle Kick's latest offering for martial arts schools called Whistle Kick Alliance. As always, if you've joined us for one of these sort of commercial episodes, know that we are, as always, going to inject plenty of relevant information beyond simply offering up a commercial. So stick around. If you're new to what we do, please consider checking out whistlekick.com where you can learn more about Alliance beyond what we're going to talk about here. But you can also do things like purchase a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or learn about upcoming events or jump out to the Patreon or go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. A link from it. You can also go direct. And one of the things you're going to find over there is every single episode we've ever done. That's not one, that's 860 something. That many episodes because we don't hide them, we don't take them down, we just leave them out there for posterity. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through any way that seems to make sense. So I, I kind of want you to ask questions. I think yeah. it's going to be better that way. Yeah, and and it's it's will be well. It'll be. I don't know how to say this well. Uh, it makes sense because I have nothing to do with alliance, and I know a bit about it, but not a lot. You you know you know the the high points. Yeah, we've yeah, talked yeah. about it, but this really is is uh, my brainchild that's come out of my head. Yep, yep. And it is a program that you're offering to school owners. People that own or run their own. Yeah, schools. it's it's available. I mean, anybody could buy it, but the value is going to be really for for school owners. And and so here's if we go way back, you know, what are what are the things that we know about my business philosophy? It's about value. Mm -hmm. How do we communicate and deliver overwhelming value in everything that we do? Uh, this podcast is free, and you get you, a lot of it, and you get value, and, and you li listen and watch and learn and such. So. Right. It's mm -hmm. a good example. So if we're going to charge for something, there has to be tremendous value there. I started working on Alliance six months ago. Mm -hmm. The root ideas for Alliance go back years. I knew when we started this company that we would eventually find a path to profitability. But like a lot of businesses, especially businesses that are involved in content, I didn't know what that would be. I yeah. didn't know how we would get there. And yeah, we started selling gear, but it was very quickly clear that that was not going to be the thing that brought us forward. And one of the things I coach my clients on, that I, I try to do myself is, what are you really good at? Mm -hmm. Well, we're really good at delivering content and we have good reach for pe to, to prominent people in the field. Um, I'm good at marketing, et cetera. So you throw all that stuff against the wall and then you say, okay, who can you get to spend money? Well, we do a lot of stuff for the individual. We don't do a lot of stuff for the school owner. We, yeah. We put out some stuff for the school owner, but not a lot. And I said, okay, how do those things converge for something for a school owner? I said, okay something that helps them make more money, attract more students, retain more students, right? All the things that one would imagine. And there are a lot of programs out there that do that. Mm -hmm. And as we talked about just a few minutes ago for another episode. Yeah, it, the episode was a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Um, most martial arts schools are not huge. Mm -hmm. And if you run a small martial arts school and you want to became, become a larger martial arts school, most schools seem to hit this tipping point. You know, it's two nights a week, four to five hours of classes a week. It's not enough for the, the owner slash head instructor slash everything to quit their full-time job. Yep. Yep. But they don't have enough time to help it grow. And so they end up in this, in this hole, this limbo. And it, and I've seen plenty of schools go out of business from that point or pull back to reduce the time in. I've seen some take out loans and mortgage their house to try to take that next step. And I said, those are the people we need to help. That's yeah. I want a program that is for them because the programs that are out there, even if they can afford some of these other offerings mm -hmm. that are significantly uh, significant expense, they don't have the time to implement it. They don't have the, the, the staff to make yeah. it happen. Yeah. So they're buying things that they really can't do. I said, okay. So we, 
internally, uh, a couple of us worked on some ideas and then we started testing it with people. What, what might be of interest? And here's what we ended up with for the core four launch offerings that are Whistlekick Alliance. Webinars. What's a webinar? It's basically a podcast episode mm -hmm. on a very specific subject mm -hmm. for a specific audience, right? Most of what we do on this show is not for a specific audience. It's fairly broad. It's fairly it's, general. It's by design, yep. right? Yep. But if we combine all the things that we've already got, we have a tremendous amount of information. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? So that was an obvious one. There's number one. Number two, the marketing piece. Well, as Whistlekick, we can help promote the martial arts schools that are part of the program. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, easy. So we take some of the money that comes in and we put out some ads, done. Okay. And let's face it, when a third party says something, that usually carries a little more weight. It's uh, The marketplace tends to respond better to, hey, they're great rather than I'm great. That's why reviews are so important. Yep, absolutely. Okay? So there's number two. Um, Number three, we have found that when we get people together and they get to work together, cool things happen. So what if we did some on sort of online competitions, not necessarily online tournaments, but what if it was a, a, a online formatted and promoted um, fight scene choreography, you know, and, and all the member schools could participate and we could, I don't know, make the voting public or whatever, right? Like you see there's a, a structure here, not specifics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so online competitions, and then that would help the students feel engaged and gives them something different to do. And the school don't, doesn't have to run it all. They just have to say, go do this. Mm -hmm. And that gives them something cool to talk about in their local area for marketing. Okay, there's number three. And what was the fourth one? Hold on. I had them before we launched. Webinars, marketing, competitions. I don't, I don't know. Hold on one second. That's how raw this is, right? Like this is this stuff is just starting to happen, and I'm missing a piece. And it's really interesting because I had a feeling this was going to happen, and so I, before we started, I was like, "Nope, get them all in your head, Jeremy," and they were in my head. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting there. Andrew, say words, please. Words, 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 words. I feel like the uh, adults in the Peanuts comics. Wah, 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 There we go. There we go. We're probably going to trim this a little bit. Uh-huh. Um... <clears throat> oh, and the support group. A non-disclosure protected school owner support group. So instead of having a general social media group or chat that anybody can join and seems to inevitably turn into a complaint fest. Yep. Yep. This is a group of people. And if we end up with too many, we'll make several and segment them out. But if you want to participate, you have to sign a non-disclosure. And that way people can feel more comfortable being a little more open and honest about what's actually going on. So those are the core four things that we're doing. Now you can see that they have similarity to some of the other things that are happening, but they're different. They have the whistle kick flavor. Yeah. So the of those four, the first one, webinars, is probably the the, the one that everyone can wrap their head around. Probably the easiest, easiest to understand. Right, yeah. to understand. You'll get you know seminars from or, or webinars from who? Probably going to be some overlap with folks who have been on the show, mm -hmm. but it also gives us the ability, you know, let, let's say we're talking about uh, one, of the, one of the hot hot subjects in the martial arts world these days is, yeah, Andrew's watching his phone because we, we're doing a, a call with someone for the show shortly. How much time have we got? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Um, there's a lot of discussion and sometimes disagreement around how to teach certain youth demographics, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So if we're talking about autism spectrum or something, within the context of martial arts radio, we're probably only ever going to bring on a martial arts instructor. 
But for these webinars, we could put together a panel of mm. autism spectrum experts, mm -hmm. yep. researchers, right? Because that we get so niche there that it's really relevant to the school owners. But if you don't own a school, that's not, not only is that not really relevant, you're probably not going to watch that. We don't, tr we try not to put out episodes that nobody's going to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Or that a very small percentage of people will watch. Yeah. So that takes care of number one. Yeah. Number two is probably the one that people will understand the least. So I definitely want to make sure to touch on that, which is the marketing. Yeah. What I'm a school owner. I'm going to sign up for Alliance. What marketing yeah. are you going to do for me? And why is that beneficial for me? Yeah. So here's the short of it. Your students come from a certain geography. A few miles down the street, 10 miles, 20 miles down the street. We will place ads in that local area for you and run them entirely. And what we do is we will funnel those ads, not to your school, but to a certain segment of our page, our website, whistlekick.com, that says, these are schools that have passed our standards, mm -hmm. that have filled out certain paperwork, that have had conversation with us. And you know the, the details on that are get a little bit too involved here, but bottom line, we vouch for them. Not the quality of, of their instruction, but the quality of their character, right? We, we talk about that. This is very much in line with what we do here. And it comes down to the six freedoms. If you're familiar with the six freedoms and you can, there's, we did an episode on that. It's on, on the website. And that allows us to say not this school is better and schools that are not this are not good. Mm -hmm. It allows us to say the character of these schools is of importance to them and that's important to us. So if someone sees an ad saying you should check out martial arts and they click on the ad and it brings them to this page and lo and behold, there's a school in their area. Mm -hmm. And all of this is not extra it doesn't cost extra no we, we are carving out a portion of the revenues that come in to put those ads back out and it's not a small portion it's 20 percent. yeah so being an alliance member gives you essentially free market free marketing yeah. yeah and if you look at the way experts value third party recommendation versus first party recommendation mm -hmm. you're basically getting a, at least a hundred percent back yeah. In what you contribute. Yeah. And and what, and you mentioned it earlier, I, if I were to say my school is amazing, some people will listen to that, but a yep. lot of people will be like, of course you're going to say that it's your, it's your school. But when someone else says that's a good school, yeah. that means. And this is why getting ratings and referrals and recommendations, that's like all of those things are so incredibly important for any business, including yep. a martial arts school. All right, so let's get into that third piece, yeah. which is the competitions, right? Because when I think competition, and when this happened during COVID, I think online, I do my form, I do yeah. a competition. That's what I think. Yeah. But obviously, you outlined outlined a second ago something very different from sure. that. So let's talk about that. Sure. I, I think one of the downsides to the way a lot of martial arts groups schools and wider approach competition is we limit it to some style of combat mm -hmm. and some style styles of forms demonstration. Yep. And what we do in our training is a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. And especially if we're putting together a competition that doesn't require people to pay money, mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about the economics of this because it becomes very simple, right? So let's say there's a competition that is, and I'm going off the cuff. I'm not saying this is something we're going to do. Uh, let's take the example of, uh, what was the one I gave before? Like a, a fight scene, a fight scene, like choreographing a fight scene. So how could that run? Well, we put out some parameters to all of the Alliance schools that say, hey, we're doing this. You've got to submit video of this long uh, between this day and this day in this format on this website. And as many of your students that want to participate can. So maybe it's groups of three or groups of five, or maybe we don't yeah. even say. So you might have one school that puts together, you know, there are a bunch of groups of three and four. Maybe there's another school that all gets together one and puts thing. together yeah. one. And those come together and, um, you know, maybe we appoint a, a panel 
to, to vote on them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe the schools themselves vote. Everybody gets a vote. Or maybe we put it out publicly to whistle kick mm-hmm. on, on our social media and people vote that way. I don't know that it necessarily matters but because what happens? People are practicing a thing. They're getting together. They're yeah. building community. They're submitting stuff. And there's some manner of winners and non. Mm-hmm. And maybe there are awards that we send out. They're probably not going to be super significant. We're not going to be mailing six foot trophies, but bragging rights. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a a fight scene belt or cup, right? (laughs) That that goes to you for a year and then we do the next one. I I don't know. Yeah. But there's, there's a fun element there. And it also becomes something that the school can talk about internally and externally. And that's a big part of this, right? If it doesn't help the school retain students and bring in new students, we're not going to do it. Yeah. And this does that because tell me that those videos wouldn't look really cool on social media. Hey, here's a video that, you know, person A, B, and C just submitted for the whistle kick choreographed fight yep. scene championship. And and you mentioned earlier as well that that leads to a press release that you could, if your team won, that yep. you could easily send out. And as I understand it, you're going to provide the press yeah, release. Yeah, we're generating the, the press release draft. So the schools just have to say, okay, my school here, burp, burp, yep. uh, names of people that are relevant, burp, 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 contact info. Burp, burp, and send to the newspaper. And, and, we'll even, and we're even going to include because again, marketing is a big part of this, a constantly updated recommendation on how to handle press releases, because there are ways to do press releases that get included in ways that are <laughs> very much unlikely. Um, and then the last aspect, the yep. fourth one was- Of the, what we're launching with. What we're launching with, yeah. They're absolutely- We'll, we'll I, talk about there can be more what I'm hinting at in a moment. Um, but is that uh, the social, gathering of of instructors that are in the yeah, what we're what we're calling the school owner support group support group okay. right and that doesn't mean that it's a, a hi i'm andrew and i yeah. am a martial arts school yeah <laughs> it's it's not that there's no 12 steps involved here uh it's it's online and yeah it's going to start on facebook because that is the best place for that but we are looking at doing some things that start to break out of that typical social media mold but we're launching simple and inexpensive mm-hmm. because that's how we do things yeah and again, protected by a non-disclosure agreement. And if you don't know what that is, it basically says if you are found to have disclosed information, and there's an actual form that you have to sign, if you're found that you have disclosed information that was shared within this under these terms, you are liable. You are legally liable. So it's it's optional. People don't have to do it, but it means that if you're going to be part of it, you probably have more confidence in sharing things that are a little bit more detailed uh, than you might Mm -hmm. if it was completely public. And and the reason for this is I see a lot of martial arts groups where people ask genuine questions and the quality of the answers that come back are poor. Mm -hmm. Now, internally for Whistlekick, we, not just internally, but we have been testing a group like this that has more oversight for probably six months now. And the quality of what has come back out is, are you in that group? I am. Would you agree the quality of what's coming back for responses is much better? better. Yeah, way better. Yeah, so, and that's with maybe a couple dozen people. So what happens as this starts to scale, it ends up being in the same way that when we all get together to train, really good stuff comes out of it. What happens when we all get together to support each other in our schools, right? Yeah. Um, I think that that ability to be to feel safe is, is yeah. important to be able to talk about things um, is, is really important. Now, we talk about these are the four things that you're launching with. Mm-hmm. Um, the program is, is ultimately going to grow. Um, what do you as a school owner, what can I expect once I yeah. join? In the future. So there are two really, really important things about this program as we look forward. The first one is the price will go up, but your monthly rate will not. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whenever you get in, you are grandfathered. However, as we add things, you get access to those too. It's Mm -hmm. not going to be, well, you know, you bought these in a, at this price, you get these, but if you want this too, you've got, no, it's, it, we're keeping it simple. So it's not like my internet bill. That goes up every couple of months. No. Or my recent internet bill where I was given a, what do they call it? 
it was, they tried to claim it was some ridiculous tax. And I called and I'm like, this is the first time you've ever done this. And they're like, actually, that's a mislabeled fee for giving you a paper bill. It was like, wow, that is shady. Oh, very much so. So shady. Four ninety five. So you buy in whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is when, when you watch this, that's the price you pay as long as you remain. That's going to be a really good deal over time. Yeah. A yeah. really good deal because you watch everything that we've ever done at Whistlekick. Does it continue to grow and get better? Yes. I mean, there's a reason why this is episode 860 something yeah. uh, as opposed to episode two, right? We're going to continue to grow uh, and keep going. Um, and if you are a member of the Whistlekick Alliance and are a school owner, mm -hmm. uh, it would be a tax deduction. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. It's an expense for your school. Mm -hmm. So that's coming right there off the top. And there are, there, there are things that I will not talk about yet mm -hmm. that I am looking to add that will be exclusively available to Alliance schools, whereby you might be able to make, not might, where you can make money. And then my we're... plan for this mm -hmm. long term is that this membership makes you money. Interesting. And this uh, this episode's coming out early November. Mm -hmm. In a couple weeks, we have Marshall Summit, yep. where there are events open. We we've got a few things at Marshall Summit that are either discounted or exclusive to mm -hmm. Alliance members. Yep. And we'll be making a push for this program because this truly is the intersection of all the things that we do well and provides overwhelming value to the schools because that's what we do because we want to make sure that we crush it. And as we rolled this out uh, in conversation, as, as I sat down with a number of school owners and said, this is kind of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, let's run through it. And without fail, not without in a, a single exception, the probably eight or nine people that I, I brought this to went, when can I sign up? O okay. Like, you don't have to keep going. <laughs> I, I, I see where you're going. This is amazing. Yeah. So when this gets, this episode comes out, when you're listening or watching to this, you can go to. You can go to whistlekick.com and under the school section, you will see a link for Alliance. And all the information in incredible detail is in there. There's videos, there's sample documents. You'll be able to see everything you're signed up for. And I'm going to break kind of a rule. We usually have a rule on these episodes where we don't put information out in such a way that it, it expires. Sure. Right. Yeah. And so the obvious thing that we have not mentioned is how much this costs. Yes. Would be, and partly because it's going to change. It is going to change. And, However, we don't know, and we don't know when you're listening or watching. We don't this. know when you're listening. And I'll admit, there are, we've got it corralled in, but I'm going to ballpark it. If you're watching this when this comes out, it's $100 a month. Show me something that gives you more for $100 a month for your school. I would argue there is nothing. And I don't just mean other options from, from other organizations. And by the way, not saying you cannot or should not participate in those organizations as well. Mm -hmm. This is meant to be other stuff that you may find value in. Yeah. All right. I think that pretty well explains what you got going on. Whistlekick Alliance. So thank you. Go to whistlekick.com. Check it out. And if it's not for you, I would love to know why. Mm -hmm. You're, if, if you care about what we do, if you care about our mission to connect, educate, and entertain, I would welcome your feedback. If this is not something that works for you, please tell me why, because maybe that means we're going to offer something in the future that changes that for you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it means that we're looking at other things that might be more up your alley because we want to help every school because we want to get everyone to train. And given that Whistlekick is not a collection of martial arts schools that, you know, we're, oh, we're going to open a school here. No, we have to do that through you. We have to empower you to bring in students. And that's what we're doing. Connect, educate, entertain. On yeah. the way to getting everyone in the world to train for six months. So message him if you're a school owner. Don't message him and say, Whiskey Alliance is not for me because I don't own a school. Don't do that. 
you, you can do that, but it's silly and a waste yeah. of both of our time. Jeremy at whistlekick.com. Our social media is at whistlekick. Andrew at whistlekick.com. Until next time, train, train hard, hard smile, smile, and have, have a great day. day.